Hello everybody, it's Nurse Melvis here. Um, I hope you're all doing very well, getting on well with work, family and you know whatever it is that you're 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 into. Um it's just a quick video really to say that um just an update really for overseas trained nurses because in the last few weeks or so I've had so many messages from many of you querying about the process of um, working in the UK, the English test, people are worrying about how to get jobs and people are worrying about the process, can they use um, recruitment agencies, can they not, what is going on. So I've just thought I'll do a quick video and please feel free to share this with your friends who are also interested, you know, friends and colleagues who are also interested and keen to you know come work in the uk because then it's helpful for them as well um the main thing that um you need to get out of the way if i can put it that way is the english language test so you've got the international um english language test you have to do the academic version of that and you must you must have the required grades that the nmc wants um again just just check 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 up on this guys just check on it open it um, so there are grades that the nmc would accept um, if you do the test and for whatever reason you don't pass all the required sections what you can do is if you repeat the test within six months from that date then the nmc would accept that as well so you know that's something that is, is worth considering um, you can either do the international english language test or you do the occupational English test. So the occupational English test is based on kind of your profession, you know, as per the name, really, the name suggested all. So if you're a doctor, you would do one that is, you know, related to your profession. If you're a nurse, it's related to your profession. So um, which test you do obviously depends on you, but you only have to write one of the English tests. Um, I haven't done any of these tests myself, but obviously um, I'm, I've worked with candidates who are preparing for these tests and, you know, it's different for everybody. So what I will say is do your research. Don't don't just take what other people are telling you saying, oh, I've done this one. It's so difficult. It's so stressful. Oh, don't do this one. It's easier. No, just focus on, you know, whichever one you think is going to be easier for you so you do one or the other once you've done that you've then got to do the cbt so that's a computer-based test once you've done your cbt then guys you are ready so these are the two things that you need really if you want to work in the uk you have to do these in your home country so it's up to you to find out the logistics you know the test centers you have to get an approved test center and um, for example I, I, I've, I've spoken to one of the nurses um recently who is in cameroon and she told me that she had to travel to ghana um to do the test because of some issues in the test center um and things like that I've, i know other people who are having to travel to other neighboring countries like nigeria as well to do the test so you know it's up to you to find out the logistics find out a recognized test center and you know just things like that so once you've had those two um what you need the next stage now is obviously applying for jobs in the uk and guys i know that when you live in another country it may seem stressful it may seem that um, it's not going to be easy but applying for jobs is the easiest part of this process it is the easiest part and you know many nhs trusts or you know organizations are um happy to just employ you directly they would advertise the jobs um on their websites and um, once you get to that stage obviously you know can share the links with you share the adverts with you and you just apply directly and also <clears throat> there are questions about um which countries can apply through recruitment agencies, which countries cannot. If you check at the top of this video, I have put a list of countries. So long story short, if you're from any of these countries listed above, you are not, you are not allowed to come to the UK through a recruitment agency. Why is this? The reason for this is because um, these countries listed above are either going through some sort of a political crisis or some sort of a health um, crisis, which means that 
there's either war or you know something else going on that makes the country unstable they, it could also be that the health system is not robust enough um, and so it would be morally and ethically wrong for the UK to be actively recruiting um, healthcare professionals from these countries. And guys, when I say healthcare professionals, I mean, it's not only nurses, it's doctors, it's nurses, it's pharmacists, it's occupational therapists, it's physiotherapists, it's laboratory technicians, social workers, every single person that works in health and social care, it affects you. If you're from any of these countries, the only way to get out of it is if your country has a special relationship with the UK or a special agreement that they have signed with the UK, specifically saying that despite these, you know, political crisis or healthcare <clears throat> crisis, you're still able to come work in the UK. Um, so you've got to apply yourself. You need to apply directly to the organizations if your country isn't listed above then yes you can use a recruitment agency <clears throat> to come and work i'm losing my voice guys then you can use a recruitment agency to come and work in the uk so just be aware of of, of all these things and it's important to come and um, work here in a way that is um legal you know yes it has to be legal in a way that is um correct and in a way that is convenient for you as well i bet you it's not a complicated process once you've had your test out of the way everything else just smoothly falls into place there's um extensive um, learning materials there is so much for you to practice on there are so many different um methods that you can practice so you know just 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 reach out if you're struggling with any of these and can send you some materials can send you some links and speak to other nurses who have gone through the process again they'll be in the best position to also advise and, and recommend you know what's best to do so again i'm always here i'm happy to 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 you know take any questions to give you what information i've got i can assist you with contacting different organizations here in the uk to get up-to-date information and if there's any updates, obviously I always put them out on my page, Nurse Melvis Career Coaching. So, you know, just share with your friends. And if there's information that you have and your other friends need it, share it with them, guys, because sharing is caring. So thank you so much for listening. Do have a good day and stay safe. Bye.